It's so important that projects like this where the West Yorkshire Playhouse come out into local communities like Middleton to give these young people and these communities a really rich cultural experience that they might not ordinarily get. Some of these young people and families might not get to go into the city centre and watch a show at the Playhouse. So the very fact that they're making the effort to come out into these communities is so, so important. So my name's Fiona and I'm the Communities Manager at Leeds Playhouse and we're very excited to be at Dazzle in Middleton today uh, to bring the company uh, Fairy Poppins and the Naughty Winter Ghost. Uh, the Playhouse uh, has a long history of trying to reach out into the community and uh, create work that um, uh, is relevant for the time. So uh, reacting to the pandemic, they put together a show that's about three uh, painters and decorators who've had to kind of reboot and make themselves storytellers and take their show on the road because all the theatres have been shut. Um, and uh, we're taking it all across Leeds to areas that um, sometimes don't have as much access to the arts. Uh, so we're rocking up in car parks, uh, in everything from community centres to care homes, to schools, to colleges, all that kind of thing, just to really try and get a bit of theatre out there. It's important that projects like this happen um, it, because there's a lot of people right now, especially with the times of the pandemic, um, that are affected by it. And the play is basically um, a child who wants winter to go away and spring to come back. So it's very, uh, there's parallels there between um, that and the pandemic and lockdown and rules being lifted and stuff like that. Um, and it's also just important to go across communities and people who don't necessarily always get to see theatre, they, they get that opportunity to be able to see it. Touring in a van um, and around is different to being uh, in a theatre because it's different all the time, which is um, really fun as an actor. You never quite know what's going to happen when you get to work. Um, kind of got to react to audiences a bit more on the spot and see what they need. Uh, got the weather to contend with. Um, yeah, it's just nice, a bit like camping really, but theatre outside. Um, we've been overwhelmed with everyone's kindness and generosity at a time when it's been really hard in everyone's different settings to make things work. But I think I've been really overwhelmed at how brilliant everyone has been at making this work work in their settings. Um, it's really important to be out and about with everyone in the city, uh, bringing joy, telling stories, uh, reminding people that it's safe and enjoyable to be together um, and experience live theatre together too. Oh, it's fabulous, absolutely fantastic. Um, the bits where the kids, so my older girl doesn't do dancing, she's a little bit shy. She was up dancing, she was shouting. She was so involved, it was unbelievable, really. I would say, come with any children, of, like any babies or youngsters, and they'll really enjoy this. I liked the show because it was, the premise was like, it was supposed to be a wheel show, but then they kept talking to Noir and they kept like, changing stuff because they were going out of time on the show. Come. Cool. It reminds me of Friends, because it's fun now. Um, I think the dancing were good and it was a funny thought and it was good to choose then. I would recommend it because it's it's got some funny bits but also it's got like some it's got dancing and it's got singing as well. It's like very like active and very and whole different genres in it. They've got to learn to sort of not take themselves seriously. They've got to learn to not take life seriously, especially now. Um, and yeah, just to sort of let loose and just enjoy themselves for half an hour, it's, it is priceless, really. As cheesy as it sounds, 